Hi everyone, my name is Stephen. I'm the founder of the project Harmony. We have been building scalable blockchain for three years now. Today, I would like to share with you our vision of interoperability and our focus on adoption through on-chain wallets. Our team of 20 people has been infrastructure builders from Amazon, Google, Apple, thinking about this journey about decentralized economy and now finally come to really thinking about scaling many DeFi and NFT application across Ethereum and many other chains. For 2021, our roadmap has been how to scale cross-chain finance. In just a few months, we have been able to 10x our ecosystem. We have 109 open validators sticking more than 540 million assets. We support on-chain delegations and there are more than 10,000 delegators just directly going through our ecosystem of validators to choose. And there are close to 80,000 wallets in our among our applications. We have more than 40 Ethereum compatible applications deployed on our mainnet and through more applications like marketplaces, governance, as well as um, many of these um, new voting decentralized exchange, we, our network now secure more than 52 uh, assets across multiple chains. But one of the most engaging applications lately has been our Da Vinci Gallery as a NFT marketplace. We sign up and list more than 800 artists that have already sold in just two months since we launched 269,000 of sales of collectibles. Our approach has been really having the high touch curation and auctions, helping many of the artists really without technical background or hurdles to be engaging with the community. But what are our next steps to really drive mainstream adoption for millions of users? We think the answer is a on-chain wallet that people can earn more than 10%, even 20% fixed rate yields. It sounds crazy, but it's really a universal basic income for millions of users without having to worry about all these asset and security, but they are able to participate in this new economy of FinTech as well as crypto globally. We should really help them not to have to worry about seed phrases, even hardware wallets, definitely no hacking through the SMS or thinking about where is the password that they have to write it down somewhere. All they need is a Google Authenticator, a minimal composable way of talking about authentication. It's really where the key innovation called social recovery is possible now with just the security secured by the on-chain smart contracts and the network validators. We know Arjun and Lubring have done very well in this space, thinking about the user interface, onboarding the users quickly. Harmony Strings is really thinking about how can we help many of these users have access to many of these cross-chain assets through so many different chains. Many of them offer more than 10% sticking, more than 10% if you lend, maybe even more than 20% if you go through some liquidity pools. But we don't want consumers to keep on worrying about how to make it possible. We don't want the volatility to be part of the income. So how to have derivatives and structured product that actually help all these fixed rate income, but not having to worry about the interface and security is the only way that will gain massive adoption. But that's not the end of the story. We want to bring the full story back to whether 
is the digital identity and the NFT so that many people can understand the value creation and the community around the wallet. In particular, the DaVinci multi-chain marketplace that we launched really help artists, musicians, but also just a way for community around certain events or even a DAO to talk about airdrops, experiments on their community values creation. But the great thing is now the whole marketplace dynamics come together. They will have the editorials, they will have gallery to show, showcasing your collection on the new wallet. We work with partners like Animoca Brands that we work with mainstream brands such as BizQuest, Atari, that we launch the sales with. That it's not just about generator arts or just a few niche crypto only audience. We want even moms and pops to be excited about what are the mainstream sport teams and collectibles from the TV shows. This is going to be a great digital economy that's going to be breaking up. And very soon we tie back to the identity you have online. We are launching the domain name service called Crazy Dot One. Just so that we have a very edgy and radical way of representing yourself online. You will have the fun emoji domains that will be part of your digital file. Anywhere you go, instead of talking about, here's my public address for my keys um, to be sending me the um, money or representing my identity, the wallet that we have a whole comprehensive portal for our users will both respect your pseudonym's identity, but if you prefer also your private transactions. So what is our secret sauce? Why is all this idea about the bridges and cross chain? We know that there are so many new networks and in the life now. The only way is to work together, build bridges, not walls. So many bridges, but the proper way to do it is called trustless and putting the smart contract for the bridge and light clients on the smart contract itself off the network. It's what we call the on-chain bridge. And our research white paper show that we can actually bridge it to both proof of stake network and proof of work network. And the crazy thing is it can be done with fast finality within minutes instead of seven, seven days withdrawal. We have done that with the Ethereum mainnet as well as the Binance Smart Chain. For Ethereum, it's already proven it to be a great settlement network. But Binance Smart Chain is also surprisingly have strong innovation in the DeFi space with insanely high yields and experiments that lots of liquidity moving around that we allow our users and our applications to compose all this liquidity across networks and layers. And we, Harmony is becoming the hub of all these networks. Our next key project is actually wrapping Bitcoin in a non-custodial vault that is still capital efficient and you don't need to trust any central custodial, custodial way of holding your keys or Bitcoins that you can still participate in the Bitcoin um, and DeFi economy. We have been setting out bounties and working with partners, bridging to Terra and Celo. Another key one is going to be the Polkadot ecosystem so that there are lots of substrate and the innovation in WebAssembly that uh, Edgeware and many of the top teams we are working, collaborating with to figure out what are the cross-chain way, even respecting the privacy way of bridging. But the announcement today is we already figured out the direction. How can we scale our development? We want to engage far more developers in a very specific way. So today we are announcing the 10 million 
bounties. And we want to have our partner Gitcoin to be doing the platform and payout and engagement. There are already close to 100,000 developers on Gitcoin. And that's where the audience for crypto development is. And we want to reach out to them for so many initiatives that we have, we have, we have really articulated. And we know it works because we have been using these bounties for lots of more than 100,000 payouts already. Building bridges to many of the networks, having roll-ups and even ZK, ZK, privacy protecting, ZK roll-up. Having an API for all these cross-chain deals is what we are so excited about. Coming back to my research, it's well more about crypto graphic primitives. That is going to be the key of the next uh, generation of innovations. How do we think about all this security while we are innovating with finance and money? It's going to be the differentiation. How do we think about the privacy when we're working with all the consumers, financial and uh, private data? It's going to be the key enabler for many of the applications that big companies cannot compete. But it's more than just our specific mandates um, and bounties. We want to enable far more innovation within our community and broader blockchain partners. We are today also announcing specifying the mandates for 10 community DAO to start each with 1 million funding. That we think whether project incubations, whether product referrals, social way of marketing, all the way to hosting regional events. And we still haven't forgot that we need to bring social fairness as well as a radical marketplace to broader consumers. There are much more innovations that we have started with our, with our validated governance. We have launched our own version of Snapshot and Gnosis Safe to help validators to have their votes to talk about what the, they want the network features to have. It's a very engaging way of really long-term having the community to drive the initiatives. But we think that it extends far more than just the network and the finance applications. We think that there are much more innovation in the open marketplace if you can reveal your true preference, if not having multiple round of auctions to play with. So what can you do? What can you help? We actually want advocates to actually care about the blockchain innovations. We want far more educational material in the campaigns beyond development, beyond technical ideas, how to help people understand how they can participate in this new economy. Beyond crypto, but think about a global way of engaging your own community, your, you being a creator, and you have direct access to your value creation with your audience. So today, I want to summarize as saying that on-chain Network security is the best way to think about beyond decentralized security and scalability is actually the interoperability with multiple chains. And we have innovate of building bridges and wallet possible there. And we are launching today of our developed bounties as well as our DAO for communities so that we enable the innovation that is ready to 10x. We know that cross-chain finance and digital arts will be the key innovation this year that we have special roadmap that already really going to be massive this year. So we are definitely still hiring core team. Follow me on Twitter, it's just STSC, that we have many more announcements to make on the product and the detailed roadmap to hope to build the community together. We have a few more ideas how to think about these bounties as well as way that this community that we want to help that's going to be beyond just crypto asset and the token economies, we think finally we can talk about broader wallet penetration that honestly my friends and family can finally use without you having to worry about their security, their volatility in the market. 
stable coins was an innovation last year. To us this year, is really figuring out the structure for that that can actually have a fixed rate income, fixed rate yields that many more people, even with $1,000 asset, can participate. So thank you so much for today for your conversation. And please engage us on Telegram, on Twitter, that we'll get to know about what we can build together. Thanks again.